next person cannot write very well, so I think it's Keith Keel? Ke Kelly? Right. Kelly? Keith Kelly, give it for Keith, everybody! Hi everyone, I'm Keith. Hey. I'm here because my jujitsu jitsu team coach told me to. Rose's week. Um, his moniker is the Hitman, and I don't want to show up to class tomorrow with the memory at me. So next week is Thanksgiving, and I have a lot to be thankful for. This is an old injury. I used to be a professional, but now I'm a man of leisure because this injury caused me to be able to retire early. About three years ago, my world looked completely different. I was literally going insane from a long ordeal. Then I met Quentin 28 months ago. I literally crawled into 10th Planet Savannah and I, I, he turned me around. I was bedridden for two years. I was fucked up beyond recognition. And I could have let go. So would you please allow me to show my gratitude and give Quentin Rose's week a round of applause. different jobs in my life. My parents were born in Europe during the Great Depression and uh, I was raised in New York. Worked a lot of different jobs. I, I, don't, I don't know, for those paying attention, I'm not sure which number of cracker I am, but I'm the biggest motherfucker. Um, that, that's what she said. Um, sorry, Ethan. Ethan's mom is awesome. Everyone, can you please give it a round of applause? Um, I've worked a lot of different jobs. I was a school teacher in the Bronx, and uh, they took one look at me and realized I couldn't read, so they made me a math teacher. And I learned all kinds of good things from my students. Around Christmas every year, I would pick their brains, and they would teach me as much as I would teach them. Uh, real world algebra. Like trying to get a cap in New York City. There's a fixed variable. There's a you know constant, and you can figure out your. You can, you can apply math to all kinds of things, but the kids would show you things that you didn't know existed. And one little boy in a special ed classroom I had to substitute teach for is telling me about a little Bobby who knew all the bad words. He knew the he knew the S word and he knew the the B word and he knew the L word. And and uh, the kids taught me things. Um, I heard an earlier comedian tonight talk about stereotypes, and, and I'm here to tell you that they exist for a reason. My mother came from this country, from Ireland. And when I was a teenager in high school, my friends, the Hallinan brothers, lived up the road, and my uncle Murph came from Galway, Ireland. And I got a call after dinner. And my buddy Harry called me up and said, Yo, kid, your uncle's in our bushes. And they, they came home from, like, it was a Friday night, they're carrying a pizza home, and they saw two shoes sticking out of their bushes. And my uncle was like, All right, pardon me, please, but can you direct me to Kelly's house? And they lifted him out of the bushes, and sure enough, they actually walked into my door. That was a stereotype that existed, and it is true. Irish people can drink, they don't drink responsibly all the time. But another stereotype that's true that I've experienced firsthand is Italians, or at least the older generation of Italians, speak with their hands. And there's a, there's a logical reason for that. Prior to the 1960s, Italy was an area, a land of dialects. People from one area didn't really speak the same dialect as people from another area, so they spoke with their hands a lot. And while I was getting my credentials to be a teacher, I had to do all kinds of jobs and I worked with construction. I was Italian by marriage for a lot of years, thank God that's over. But um, I got the pleasure of working with Uncle Luigi and uh, the retarded cousin Tony. And on this day, Tony was up on a scaffold and he was having a hard time. He needed assistance. So he's up on a ladder. All the way down was Luigi. So Tony is like trying to hand, hand something in. Hey! Luigi! Luigi's over here. He's doing 
doing something. So Tony says, Hey, Luigi, I need you. So Luigi's doing, he understands. He's doing his job. He looks up and he says, Oh. But this, Tony gets pissed. He runs up to him and says, Hey, what's the matter with you? I tell you I need you. Hey, Tony, relax. You're telling me I need you. I tell you I'm coming. <laughs> 